About the new Alien Covenant because this series is going nowhere but downhill <laughs> honestly so I was going to rant about Alien Paradise Lost but I was like okay now I'm just gonna wait you know it could get better but no things just keep getting worse and worse now the reason I want to rant about this is because the release date was revealed the synopsis that was given and because this is this series has literally nothing to do with the alien universe I don't know why they're promoting it as such so let's start with the release date shall we the release date is October 6 2017 now I have a problem with studios uh, releasing release dates like years from now because most of the time, what they plan and what we get is something totally different. And sometimes even the movies that they, you know, give release dates for don't even come out. They get pushed ahead or don't even come out. I'll give you an example. Pacific Rim 2 was supposed to come out August, I think, well, let's just say August. August 2017. And now it's pushed ahead, it's cancelled, it's not cancelled. Uh, there are so many rumors about Pacific Rim 2, it's not even funny. First, it was just pushed ahead. Then it was on hold, on indefinite hold. And then it was cancelled, but then Guillermo del Toro says it's not cancelled, so who, who the fuck knows? So I have a problem with studios releasing, you know, um, release dates so far away now as far as the synopsis goes let's get into that shall we the synopsis the synopsis reads as such Ridley Scott returns to the universe he created in Alien with Alien Covenant the second chapter in a prequel trilogy that began with Prometheus and connects directly to Scott's 1979 seminal work of science fiction Bound for a remote planet on the far side of the galaxy, the crew of the colony ship Covenant discovers what they think is uncharted paradise, but it is actually a dark, dangerous world whose sole inhabitant, sole inhabitant, is the synthetic David, Michael Fassbender, survivor of the doomed Prometheus expedition. Sole inhabitant. Alright, so... This is literally Prometheus again, but except the ship is now called Covenant. Do, do you see my problem here? I mean, when Prometheus was announced, Prometheus was supposed to be an alien prequel. Like, we were supposed to know what happened on LV-426. But instead, we got some different fucking story, the origin of life. And it was just, that that movie was, was a snowball effect. It, it went nowhere but downhill. Like, it literally had nothing to do with the Alien series. I mean, sure, it had the space jockeys, it had some Easter eggs here and there. But all in all, we got a totally different story, and that's not what we were told we were going to get. Prometheus was supposed to be an Alien prequel. Alright, so... The problem I have with this also is that this movie has had several name changes. I think first it was supposed to be Prometheus 2, then it went on to Prometheus Paradise Lost, and now it's Alien Covenant. Make up your fucking mind, and I can guarantee you, at some point in 2016 they're going to change the title again. I am pretty damn sure about that. I highly doubt they're going to stick with Alien Covenant. Now... I have the Prometheus Blu-ray. See? Now, in this Blu-ray, it comes with a like it comes with a ton of special features and they basically tell you what Prometheus was supposed to be and then like somehow something happened and it, we ended up getting the shit movie that we got. 
I mean, yes, I bag, I bash on it a lot, but I have the Blu-ray because I, I like the special effects. I like that scene where Michael Fassbender's in the room and, like, it shows, like, the planets and the like, universe and whatnot. That looks really good in 3D. So, I mean, I enjoyed some parts of the movie, but I didn't like the movie, but I still have it because of the special features and that scene and etc. Anyways, my point being that... Alien Covenant was supposed to be, like I said, Prometheus, I guess you could say, because in the special features, uh, Ridley Scott, and they show you all this really cool concept artwork, they show you all these great ideas that Ridley Scott had, and it was basically Alien Covenant, like the synopsis for that was Prometheus, I don't fucking know how they fucked that up, but yeah, honestly, the story was way better than Prometheus. The story was that they ended up on this planet, and you know, it's like this whole different thing. And then, fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Elizabeth Shaw. Well, her husband. Uh, they had sex scene in Prometheus, like that small little sex scene. Apparently, what they had planned for that was that, like, all these tentacles were going to come out of his chest and it was going to be all bloody and gory. I mean, they had some really good ideas, but somehow everything got fucked up. And that's my problem with this, because Prometheus has nothing to do with Alien. Like, literally, the prequel to Alien is just... <sighs> also, uh, another problem I have with Covenant is that the synopsis says that David is the sole inhabitant that he is alone but at the end of prometheus it's shown that elizabeth and david get on a ship together and they head out to this fucking planet so there's that i mean they could have at least let us know what happened to elizabeth because if they're gonna go ahead and put her in the movie and the synopsis is something totally different. It's just... Th this is why I don't trust release dates that are so far away. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they're going to put it in the movie. And then they're going to change the synopsis. And the same thing that's going to happen with... Uh, the same thing that happened with Prometheus is going to happen with this. That this is literally going to have nothing to do with the Alien series. And that worries me. Because I would rather see what happened on Planet LV-426... Because Prometheus was based on planet LV-223. Literally nothing to do with LV-426. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't understand how hard it is for Ridley to make a, a, an alien prequel. I mean, how hard is it to show the events that happened on LV-426? All the fans would be happy. Mm, we would pretend like Prometheus did not exist and just, you know, leave it at that. And another thing is that Neil Blankov, or Blankov, I can't pronounce his last name, uh, the guy behind Chappie, the guy behind uh, District 9, that excellent director-writer, he, he was set to make Alien 5, and Sigourney Weaver was on board. <laughs> and Alien 5, Neil's was supposed to come out after um, Prometheus 2. After or before? I'm pretty sure it was after. Because I'm pretty sure Ridley wanted to release Prometheus 2 and then Niels was supposed to come out. So, what the fuck? We're not gonna get Niels because if Prometheus 2 is, isn't coming out until uh, 2017, then Niels is gonna come out who knows when. Unless they film them, you know, uh, they film them at the same time. And then first Prometheus 2 comes out, and then a couple months later, or a year later, uh, Alien 5 comes out. That would work, I guess. But I don't think it's going to work that way. Because last time I heard, I think Neil's Alien 5 was on hold or canceled. There's something along those lines. But you see my problem with Alien Covenant? They're promoting something that probably isn't even going to have to do anything with the Alien series. Now, I could be wrong, and, you know, 
Ridley Scott may, you know, slap me in the face or something and say, Ha, you were wrong. This movie, it could be a complete alien prequel. But if it's a trilogy, I'm pretty sure we're not actually going to know what happened on LV-426 up until the last movie, if they're planning a trilogy. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a completely different story. They might show a little alien Easter eggs here and there, like in Prometheus. And then uh, they're going to leave a cliffhanger ending, getting us ready for the third movie, which shows mm -hmm. Planet LV-426. I'm almost 100% positive that is what's going to happen. So yeah, um, this is my rant on Alien Covenant and why I think it, it's a horrible movie and I don't see why Ridley Scott just can't deliver a an honest, you know, alien prequel. I'm pretty sure they thought, well, Prometheus was not what fans expected. They know we bash on it a lot. I mean, there's people that liked it. There's people that didn't like it. So they know we bashed on it a lot. So that's why they went from Prometheus Paradise Lost because if they had stuck with the Prometheus name, which I guess they realized that part two is actually not going to have anything to do with Prometheus, they changed it to Alien Covenant because... More people and more fanboys of the Alien series like me are gonna go see this movie because it has the word alien plastered on it and because, you know, they're promoting it as an alien prequel, which was, which Prometheus was supposed to be, but we both know that's not an alien prequel. We got an origin of life story, which involved God and some fucking space jockeys and Wayland yutani wanting, wanting to be rebirthed or some shit like that. Who the fuck knows that movie was just one big bowl of fucking alien semen. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some type of trailer next year, uh, maybe by October, November, some shit like that. I will judge this movie off the trailer and see what they're coming up with. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to do the whole Prometheus uh, trailer thing where it was like, and the lines and they formed the title Prometheus. I'm almost positive they're going to do that, but it's going to say Alien Covenant. I can guarantee you they're going to do that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens in the trailer. Because either way, we both know, even though I'm talking shit about it and I'm ranting about it, I'm still going to go see it. You're going to go see it. Everyone's going to go see it. So let's see what happens when the movie does come out. And yeah. So anyways, uh, this would be it on Ramzilla Rants. Thank you very much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for movie reviews and anime music videos. Also, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon up where you can go ahead and support my video making. Um, I have it up at patreon.com slash the Ramzilla, all lowercase. So be sure to check it out. Anyways, once again, this is Ramzilla signing off.